So I'm going to be talking about grass fields versus artificial turf. So most of you guys hopefully watched some World Cup. Big deal, we won. It was awesome. There was a big problem at the very beginning of this. Um, Alex Morgan uh, and 40 other international players, um, they filed a lawsuit against FIFA saying that they did not want to play on turf. And this was a really big problem because they did it over gender discrimination. Now, men's soccer gets a lot more money. They just get a lot of better things than women do in any kind of sport. And this was a big problem because turf has been known to cause like more sports-related injuries and stuff like that. So uh, basically what, what's happening here is uh, Lost my train of thought. Give me one second. Okay. No, okay. So, no football federation in the world currently offers the same support for their men's and women's team. Alex Morgan was saying that it bothered her whenever she played on turf, and her recovery time was a lot like slower when she would play on turf, which was a big problem because when you get to the World Cup and you get up there, you've got seven games in one month, and you have to recover quickly if you're going to be, if you're on the women's national team. So. They are fighting that. Uh, her quote is, this wouldn't even be an issue in the first place for a men's World Cup. And this is what some of the other players have to say. Not only are they uh, long-lasting injuries, but there's a long-term effect on playing on, playing on turf. Um, your knees, when you play on turf, the give on turf is not the same when it's on grass. So in the long run, like the, fish, like, the stuff in your knees, like it wears down to where it's bone on bone. And in the end, that's not good. Uh, so, Morgan talked about her friend Nikki Marshall. Uh, she played, Nikki played for the Portland uh, Thorns, and she had torn her ACL because her foot was caught on the turf, and that's what she said. So, what happened is she had playing her foot, and she tried turning, and the turf doesn't give, like, the way grass does. When you turn, it won't rip, say. So, when you get caught in the turf, that's obviously not good. She tore her ACL. Uh, Dr. Michael uh, Friedis claimed truth to Morgan's complaint about turf. He was saying how, yes, like your foot plan and stuff, that does cause it, and he had given uh, a bunch of things on that about what I just explained, how the grass, is not, the grass gives more than the turf does. Uh, here's a quick video. So the Women's World Cup started this week. All those cheers you heard last night from every house on your block. Air was 75 degrees. The temperature on the field, the temperature of the field itself, was 120 degrees for the opening day on Saturday. Uh, following day, on Sunday for the games in Ottawa, the field was 130 degrees. 130 degrees! Just astonishing heat. You know, grass doesn't heat up like that. So, as you can see from that, uh, yeah, it's a big problem. That was a big problem for the Women's World Cup. Um, there's also, uh, hmm. okay, there. toxins from the turf. So, turf is made of rubber from shredded tires. And that tires are known to con um, contain uh, the carcinogens. And that is basically a substitute capable of causing cancer and living tissue. Uh, this is a big problem, not for just play, like, soccer players on the field, but for keepers. Um, so David Brown is a director of public health um, toxicology for environment and human health. And he says that, how did this happen? How did we end up with children playing on the field that we, have, that we know have carcinogens? And so this is the goalkeeper's curse. So Ethan Zahn is a keeper, and he had he got Hodgkin's lymphoma in 2009. Uh, he's in he's in remission in 2012, but he was a goalkeeper. And so he decided to go dig a little deeper into this. Uh, he found out that 46 goalkeepers um, he found 46 goalkeepers who have Hodgkin's lymphoma, uh, and it was all relating back to when goalkeepers dive on the ground, they're breathing in that turf and whether they want to or not, and it's getting in their cuts, because if you look at goalkeepers, they've got cuts all up their body and turf burns. Um, 
So this is something that Ethan said. The field, uh, the field smell, he says, it's a strong chemical smell. Um, what are you inhaling? We don't really know. Uh, we want the answers to um, answers to that before you install them, particularly in places where they're um, with our kids and athletes in high stress situations. So my so like he the big problem. Um, he met a girl named Amy Griffin, and she was the assistant coach for the University of Washington. And she was saying how uh, it was a problem with. She went to a hospital, and one of the things that she said is, I know it couldn't be completely random, Griffin says. I'm not trying to take down field turfs. I just think it's my obligation that when parents are coming to me, I need to find more uh, about it. One time, I was at Seattle's Children's with someone who was getting chemo, and a nurse walked by and goes, you're the fourth goalkeeper I have hooked up to chemo this week. Just in one week. Um, so, turf is just a little bit of a problem. Uh, real quick, the cost of grass. Uh, natural soil fields cost around fifty thousand to one hundred fifty thousand uh, to implement. Uh, there's sand base. Uh, there's just these are just a couple. Um, the cost ranges for all of these. Um, that's grass. Um, for turf, a whole lot more to put in. And it is also again made up of the crumb rubber, which is the tires and silicone rubber fibers. Um, Turf, most people don't know, has to be replaced every eight to 10 years. So you think, yes, turf in the long run is cheaper, but in reality, the maintenance for turf and the fact that you have to keep, you have to keep um, up with it and everything, just automatic, it costs more in the long run. So this is just kind of like a little like, thing. And you look at it and grass costs more in maintaining, but the numbers all add up in the end and in the long run, turf is way more expensive. So. Uh, more expensive, maintaining grass costs just a bit more. And so that's how much turf is more to implement. And that's it.